guys, it's Shem the Rat, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing another Forging Friday. So this Forging Friday is reviewing this sliding toy, and this toy here was actually sent to me as a gift a while back. I'm not sure who sent it, because it didn't send a receipt for some reason, uh, but just thank you to whoever sent it. Uh, but anyways, this is a toy I've had my eye on for my rats for a while, uh, because it is a dog toy that kind of incorporates both the sliding and moving aspects of some of their prior forging toys. So basically the way this works is that there... <laughs> Did you just spook yourself, Egg? Now basically there are some little pouches. You can see hidden little pouches where the food is. I put some food in there. And you then can slide, excuse me, slide these little knobs over it. And in order to get to the food, the rats have to do exactly that. Uh, another option is to simply put one of these little sliding flipper pieces over it. So the rats just have to move it aside. Uh, but if you want to make it harder, the third level is to put the flipper piece over it and then slide in this little knobby piece. So the rats have to actually move this first before opening up this little flipper piece. So the rats are pretty good at that. Whoop. Ah, you made it too easy for yourself, Pickle. And I put some yogurt in there to incentivize them to stick around a little bit more. Um, but basically they just have to open it up like you're seeing here. And it's pretty easy for them, but they seem to enjoy it quite a bit. It reminds me a lot of the Living World toy for rats and other small pets. Only I like this one better because the pieces don't come out. Uh, mainly because it's just easier to lose them in that case. And easier for the rats to get away with stashing them and chewing them up. Which isn't an issue with this toy because they can't take them out. So yeah, overall, this is a really fun toy for them. I think it's definitely a step up over the other one where you can just remove bones or other pieces from it to get to the treats inside. Uh, it's not difficult for them, but they seem to be enjoying it. And it's definitely a good way to kind of give them a little bit more enrichment. And like most foraging toys, if you would like to make it harder, you can always freeze some treats in the little cups so that when your rats open them up, they have to look at them a little bit more to get the full treat out. So yeah, overall, it's a pretty fun toy. I uh, definitely think it's something that most rats would enjoy. Although I'm not sure it's actually any more difficult for them compared to the other levels. Uh, but it is a fun way to encourage them to use their nose and kind of use their paws to push things around. And I always like toys that encourage that sort of movement and foraging. So yeah, overall, a pretty fun toy. Pretty easy to clean. It's this plasticky material, which is very easy to just wipe down. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!